Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India So let's start lecture 34 We will continue our discussion on kinetics corrosion and now actually we are looking into the electrochemistry part and then we will try to relate this electrochemistry to corrosion. Now we have derived this butler volmer equation which is N f C O k o exponential minus alpha n f by r t e minus e 0 minus n f c r k 0 exponential minus 1 plus 1 minus alpha n f e minus e 0 by r t. This is Butler Volmer equation. And if we see uh, the previous uh, um, analysis, we see this is my I applied and then I am replacing this K C and K A with these two formulas and later we have understood that why k c 0 equal to k a 0 and that one we are considering k 0 we are replacing that and we hence we are getting this butler volmer equation. It has relation between phyladic current, electrode potential and concentration of reactant as well as product which are basically oxidant and reductant. Now, then we started saying that this particular equation can yield us uh, Nernst equation. Now, we can do little bit of uh, redistribution of this entire formula I applied equal to n f k 0 exponential minus alpha n f e minus e 0 divided by r t minus this is c o c r exponential n f e minus e 0 divided by r t into exponential minus alpha n f e minus e 0 divided by r t. Then we can write uh, equal to n f k 0 exponential minus alpha n f e minus e 0 divided by r t uh, c 0 minus c r exponential n f e minus e 0 by r t equal to it turns out to be then C 0 minus C r exponential n f e minus e 0 by r t equal to I applied divided by n f k 0 exponential minus alpha n f e minus e 0 by r t. So, this we are getting. Now, 
we see that when E equal to E 0, I C equal to I A equal to I 0 and I applied equal to I A minus I C equal to 0. So, that means, when it is non corroding situation or reversible situation, then this right hand side becomes 0. So, the C 0 minus C r exponential would be equal to exponential n f e minus e 0 by r t equal to n f e minus e 0 equal to l n c 0 c r or e equal to e 0 plus r t n f l n c 0 by c r. So, this is nothing but Nernst equation. So, we are also getting Nernst equation. So, this particular condition or the equation what we are seeing in this they have two components one is C 0 and C r. Now, if we assume that C 0 and C r are the same values that means, the physically it means that the concentration at the interface for oxidant and reductant they are not changing and they are having the same value. So, that time it would turn out to be in this case and then C 0 if we consider C r equal to C, then I could see that I 0 could have a proportionality with the C, the concentration. Now, since the concentration and this particular equation in a simplified mode, simplified mode can be found out if we look at this situation, this diagram. So, this diagram would enable us to get the I applied as a function of over voltage and that time this concentration part is already inherited uh, already included in this particular formula which is I 0 equal to n f n f nu exponential minus delta g star by r t. So, this concentration of r as well as c o they are included here and that time we are saying that they are equal and it becomes c and let us see whether we can get similar sort of equations by analyzing this particular plot. This particular plot let me redraw again. this is the over voltage related change in free energy. So, this is become n f nita and the contribution towards the anodic side is alpha n f nita and this part if I consider or let say it is alpha prime, alpha prime or simply we put it alpha 1 minus alpha n f nita. This is i h p, this is o h p, this is m or r reductant, 
this is m n plus or oxidant. Now, in the beginning the free energy difference the activation energy barrier was delta G star and then after redistribution when we are assuming that I A greater than I C. So, this is my I A and this opposite direction flow is I C with a negative sign. This becomes my delta G A change in activation energy for the cathodic side would be this much this is delta G C and this no so delta G C equal to delta G star plus 1 minus alpha n f nita. So, this plus this much whereas, delta G A equal to this delta G star minus this much. So, delta G star minus alpha n f nita and we are assuming that alpha is equal to 0 0.5 that means, the distribution of this total change in free energy towards the activation energy is same quantity. So, these two are equal since if alpha equal to 0 0.5. Now, I know that the rate of forward reaction. So, the rate of forward reaction or it is better to say that I A. So, that means, m minus equal to m n plus plus n e. So, this is the forward direction I A and this is my I C we can relate in this form n f n frequency factor and nu this fraction of atoms that are going towards the OHP and the fraction of this is the fraction of atom of that goes to the other end and then exponential minus delta G A by R T. Similarly, I C can be related as n f n f nu exponential minus delta G C by R T. And this particular general equation for I is equal to nothing but n f n which is the surface density of moles into f which is the fraction of atoms or ions that are going from one plane to the other plane and this is the frequency vibrational frequency exponential minus activation energy divided by R t since this is considered in terms of moles per unit area. So, now I a equal to n f n f nu exponential minus delta G A, I am just replacing these values minus alpha n f nita divided by R t. So, this becomes n f n f nu exponential minus delta G A by R t into exponential alpha n f nita divided by R t. This part is nothing but I 0 since I 0 equal to n f n f nu exponential minus sorry here we have to put delta G star. is delta G A is delta G star minus alpha f n n f nita delta G star by R t. So, this is I 0. So, it becomes I A equal to I 0 
exponential alpha n f neta by r t and similar way I can see I c equal to n f n f nu exponential minus delta g c by r t. So, I replace this g c with delta g star plus 1 minus alpha n f neta by r t so again n f n f nu exponential minus delta g star by r t into exponential minus 1 minus alpha n f neta by r t. So, this is again i 0. So, i c equal to i 0 exponential minus 1 minus alpha n f neta by r t. So, i applied equal to i a minus i c equal to i 0 exponential alpha n f neta by r t minus exponential 1 minus alpha n f neta by r t. So, here we are considering this quantity when we are consider consider this quantity to be this part and the rest part would be 1 minus alpha. So, you can also reverse instead of taking alpha this you can take 1 minus alpha that time it will be reducive alpha or the reducive symmetry factor and in this case we are considering oxidative symmetry factor. Now, once we have this now if I compare with this particular butler volmer equation here, here we are seeing that there are two concentration parts. Now, when we have these concentrations to be same, then we can get the same equations what we are having here. Okay. So, where in this I 0 that concentration is included. So, we are not going into that part, the only we are seeing that this is also a butler volmer equation. Now, this equation has got huge importance on the corrosion of a particular metal. We will look into that part, but before that see this neta is nothing but E minus E 0 and if neta is very large whether it is positive or negative, when it is positive it is anodic, when it is negative it is called cathodic. Interestingly if you see that here there is a negative sign and it is there is a negative sign here. So, that means, it is actually potential actually goes down from the reversible non corroding potential and in the case of anodic case, if I see the anodic case where we have a positive sign in front of it. So, that means, it indicates that the potential should go up from the reversible potential, but if I try to look at this equation let us say if it is positive, let us say neta is positive and large positive, let us say neta is large positive value. So, that time if we consider this particular part, this part we can omit, we can ignore because there is a negative sign and this particular value is very high. So, you are or I simply say I applied equal to I 0 exponential alpha n f neta by r t and since this I applied would be also equal to I a or the anodic current density, because this part can be ignored because of this is a positive value. Now, in case and that time we can term it as neta a. So, this we can term it as anodic over voltage. Similarly, if has got large negative value, so that time it will be considered as neta c and this equation will go to I applied equal to I 0 exponential minus 
1 minus alpha n f nita by r t and interestingly you see this equation is exactly similar to this. So, that time we can write it as i c and this would become nita c. So, now we have two equations one is i a equal to i 0 exponential minus exponential alpha n f nita by r t which is a and other way i c equal to i 0 exponential minus 1 minus alpha n f nita c by r t. This is valid when there is a large over voltage either cathodic or anodic, but when it is not large then we have to consider this I applied and that time I applied is not I c or is not I a small over voltage. So, this is valid these two equations are valid for large over voltage, but for a small over voltage and that time I applied equal to I A or I applied equal to I C. When a small over voltage that time I should write combination of this I 0 exponential alpha n f nita by r t minus exponential minus 1 minus alpha n f nita by r t. This is for a small over voltage. So, let us simplify this particular equation. This equation becomes I a I 0 equal to alpha n f nita a divided by r t with exponential equal to. So, then I can write n a equal to r t by alpha n f ln i a by i 0 or n a equal to r t 2.303 by alpha n f log i a by i 0. Now, this particular factor which is r t into 2.303 by alpha n f is called as beta a or the slope between over voltage and i a or rather sorry this should be log i a. The plot between beta this basically nothing but a slope between over voltage and log i a and this we can relate in a linear equation a equal to beta a log i a plus minus beta a log i 0. Now, this is a constant since r t alpha is 0 0.5 n f is constant r t is constant if the reaction happens at a constant temperature. So, this becomes a constant. So, this is equivalent to n a beta a log i a plus some constant. Similarly, if I take i c equal to exponential minus 1 minus alpha n f nita c by r t. So, then it will also give us nita c equal to if we do the way we have done you would get uh, exponential i c by i a and r t by 1 minus alpha n f nita into 2 point sorry here it should be log into 2.303 by this and with a minus sign. Now, this r t into 2.303 by 1 minus alpha n f sorry this should not be here 
this is called beta c and we consider this negative sign inside this and that is what it is it has a negative slope. So, this is also over voltage slope between over voltage and log I c. So, this is called Tafel equation. This is also called, so we can write this one as eta c equal to beta c log i c plus constant. This is also a Tafel equation. So, we would continue our discussion from this Tafel equation. Let us stop here. Thank you.